Welcome to the third video in the series of videos on simultaneous linear equation solving using algebraic methods. Um, in the previous video we looked into how we can eliminate by equating the coefficients. So we're going to take exactly the same problem. So I would like you to remember that in the previous videos we have found the solution for this as 5 comma 2 um, using um, using the other previous two methods which is equating coefficients and by um, by the method of elimination by substitution so let's look at the method of cross multiplication so in this method this method has um, you know there is there is there is some deep logic be behind this method that you will uh, understand in um, in your higher classes but if you just need to follow this method um, then these are the steps that you need to follow so I'm going to write the steps on the right hand side and I'm going to follow the steps on the left so this first step is uh, ex express express both equations as um, a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. So let's do that uh, on the left. Um, let's do x plus y minus 7 equal to 0. So that's the first one. The second equation we can write it as 3x minus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. So we have done with the we are done with the first step. Um, now the second step is to express to write the coefficients of x and y as follows. So you got to write it like this b1 b2 um, c1 c2 a1 a2 and b1 b2. So let's write this down um, here which is 1 3 oh sorry uh, b1 b2 would be 1 minus 2 because b1 is 1 and b2 is minus 2 if you can see that right because b2 is coefficient of y and b1 is coefficient of uh, y in the previous equation. So 1 minus 2 and then c1 c2 would be minus 7 minus 11 minus 7 minus 11 um, then your a1 a2 would be 1 3 1 3 and again your b1 b2 would be uh, 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 right so we are done with the with the second step now the third step involves uh, involves expressing the equation like this so writing it like this so um, so what you need to do is to mark the arrows so let's mark these arrows right so let's mark these arrows like this a uh, first one going down and this one is going up this is going down and this is going up and this is going down and this is going up so let's mark it here and then let's write this as follows x by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to y by oh, I'm sorry I assume that um, you would you would it be obvious but b1 c2 is this arrow right b1 into c2 and b2 c1 would be this arrow right so this is uh, this is for your x so you can if you want to remember it like this you can remember it like this and then this would be for your y and this would be 1 so you can you can remember it x by this quantity which is b2c1 um, b2c1 that is equal to y by c1a2 in c1a2 into c2a1 so c1a2 minus c2a1 and that's equal to 
1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So that's a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So let's translate this third step into, um, into our, our problem. So let's mark this here the same way as, as a marking it was done uh, in the method. So you mark this and if you want you can, you can write this as your x and you know this as your y and then this as your 1, right? If you want to remember that, if it helps you. So x by 1 into minus 11 minus minus 2 into minus 7. So you have to be very careful about the sign convention. I urge you to write it as it is um, without any interpretation in the first step. So y divided by minus 7 into 3, minus 7 into 3, and then minus, minus 11 into 1. So minus, minus 11 into 1. That's equal to 1 divided by, you have 1 into minus 2, 1 into minus 2 minus 3 into 1 right so then we can actually try to um, try to find out what the values are so next step is minus 11 uh, m minus 2 into minus 7 would be plus 14 so minus 14 uh, equal to y by minus 21 minus minus 11 into 1 is minus 11 so that becomes minus of minus is plus so in fact if you want to write that you can write that straight away here so plus 11 so that's minus of minus plus 11 that's equal to 1 by minus 2 minus 3 or x by minus 15 equal to y by minus 10 that's equal to 1 by minus 5 in other words, you can you can now take both of this equation and look at it separately, right? x by minus 15 equal to 1 by minus 5 or x equal to 3. And you can move on and say, hey, um, y, you can take the other two equations, which is these two, um, and say y by minus 10 equal to 1 by minus 5 or y equal to 2. Um, oh, I'm really sorry. I did a mistake here. Um, see, that's, that's why you need to be very careful in these because there's a lot of uh, computation here. So you see minus 11 minus 14 is minus 15. It's not minus 15. It's minus 25. Um, so it's minus 25, right? So it's minus 25. So x is not three but x is five right it had to be five and if i had i mean i i knew this because we had solved this before using the previous methods but if you had done this mistake in real life and you would have got three comma two as your answer which is wrong um, that's why it's extremely important to do your check so i say always at the end to do is your check and that's very important to find out that, hey, I did some mistake here, right? So your finally your answer is here 5 comma 2. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, in the next set of videos, we will solve one more problem using all the three methods. Um, see you until the next one. Bye.